The Secret Journey of Ashokan Pillars Ancient Engineering Unveiled Hey, ever wondered how ancient India pulled off some mind-blowing engineering feats? Let's talk about the Ashokan Pillars, the OG marvels of Indian history. So, imagine this. It's over 2,000 years ago. There's no heavy machinery, no trucks, not even wheels as strong as ours today. But King Ashoka wanted these massive, polished stone columns, each carved from a single piece of sandstone, to stand tall all across his empire. We're talking about pillars that weigh up to 40 tons and are as tall as a four-story building. But here's the real twist. These pillars weren't built where they stand. Nope, skilled artisans carved them from quarries, like the ones in Chunar near Varanasi. Then, they had to move these beasts hundreds of kilometers, sometimes over 500 km, to distant corners of India. Can you picture that journey? No highways, no cranes, just pure human grit and clever engineering. Historians think they used a mix of wooden sledges, giant rollers, and maybe even elephants to drag these columns over land. Rivers played a huge role too. They loaded the pillars onto boats and floated them downstream, navigating bends and rapids with precision. And all this, just to spread messages of peace and unity, carved in ancient scripts for everyone to see. What blows my mind even more is this. After all that travel, these pillars are still standing, smooth, shiny, and almost untouched by time. That's not just skill, that's a whole other level of ambition and planning. So next time you see an Ashokan pillar, don't just glance and walk by. Think about the sweat, the teamwork, and the unstoppable drive it took to get that single stone to stand where it does today. Ancient technology wasn't just smart, it was legendary. If you found this fascinating, hit follow for more mind-blowing facts from India's epic past.